Hi, young garage band composers. This is Mr. Ringel. We're going to work on uh, copy, paste, and extend, uh, and also truncate, uh, working on editing loops a little bit. So the first thing you need to do is click on File, New, and make sure your previous file is saved if you have not saved it yet. Um, and yours, your screen looks a little bit different. Uh, we've gone over this a little bit, but just reiterating, uh, I, I can open an empty project. You guys will just open loops. It'll be in the upper right. It looks like a music node and a little sound wave. So I'm going to open an empty project. Sounds from my Mac. And I'm actually going to... Uh, close this. Uh, if the musical typing comes up, just go ahead and close it. Uh, you have a little loops key, so do I. Make sure that the loops open over here on the right hand side. Alright, and let's find a drum beat that we like. You Remember, you can click on it and listen to it. And you can stop it. Alright, so Let's find something that we like. Let's try this one. I like this one. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to drag it over to my timeline all the way to the left so it's in position 1, 1, 1, 1. That means first bar, first beat. All right. Um, one thing that you may not realize is that you can do a couple things without even... Uh, realizing it. You can extend loops. I'm trying to get it to extend right now. Okay, so you can just pull, you can drag it to the right after clicking and holding on it. But the other thing is that you can actually truncate the loops and you need this little arrows icon with the bracket around the left arrow to truncate the loop. And they might not call it truncating. So I'm going to put this down to uh, a smaller size, only four bars long. So 16 beats. All right. That's all I wanted at. Now I'm going to try to find a, a contrasting beat. Ooh, some of these are really loud. The so one thing you can see down here is I have a volume key. I'll try to pull that back. Just lower it down a little bit. And as you scroll through, you can just take a quick listen. Oh, I kind of like that one. Let's drag that over. And notice this is only a a two bar uh, track loop, so I'm going to extend that. Oop. I'm going to pull and extend. So usually you'll see this little uh, circle arrow when you can extend a loop. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to alternate them. So. Go back and select your first loop, and rather than going back through and finding a float beat in my loops, no, you don't need to do that. So click on the loop and edit, copy. Now here's the tricky part. Make sure your playhead is where you want to paste it. So I want to paste it at the first beat of measure 9. Then go back to edit and paste. And I've got my float beat 2 there. So let's hear what that sounds like. I'm going to back the playhead up to measure 8. All right, that sounds pretty good. Um, actually, what I'm going to do, well, for right now, uh, this the signal in this bad signal beat loop 
is a little high, uh, meaning the volume is a little bit too high for my tastes, at least on this one, and there's ways to edit it, but we'll go over that at another time. So, what I want to do is then put the bad signal beat after the afloat beat. Now, you can also do your commands, you can do this edit, copy, and paste through your keyboard. For you guys, it's the Windows key plus C to copy, then the Windows key plus V to paste. At least that's what it should be, because it should correspond to the Mac commands, because you're using the iMacs. So, here's an interesting thing. So, I just edited and I didn't want to. If that ever happens to you, come back, come up to edit and hit undo loop and it'll do, it'll undo what you just did. And it can go through a few different things that, uh, of the last few commands that you had. Uh, you can also do that by the command plus Z key. All right. Or, sorry, the Windows key plus Z key. It's the command key on an Apple computer, Apple keyboard. So I want to copy this loop. So I want to make sure that it's selected. All right. Then you plus window click, Windows key C. And then I want to come over here. And Windows key V. All right. So you should have 16 bars worth of stuff now. I showed you how to truncate and extend. You should have 16 bars of a drum beat. You can do the same drum beat I used or any other drum beat. So let's just take a listen and then we'll be done. Okay, turn the volume down just a little bit. Yeah, see how much louder that loop is? And you can see it visually here too. We want it a little bit louder because it's a contrasting beat, but that's a little too loud. And that is how you copy, paste, and uh, extend or truncate the loops. Now make sure you file, save as, and put your name. I'm going to put Mr. Ringle, you put your name, obviously, and then put copy, paste, extend, and save it to your desktop. Come over to Google Classroom, click Add on the assignment for copy, paste, extend. The, mine's just a sample assignment from one of my classes, that an example class the, the teachers were given. Click on File. Select files from your computer. Make sure that you are in your desktop, either from here or on the left here. And then you're looking for copy paste, your name and copy paste extend. I think it's this one. Now we click open and then upload. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel because I don't want this uploaded there. Uh, but you click upload. You click this key, and then turn in. And that's copy-paste-extend.